storm's coming up, Annie. You'd better get home quick. These step lights use tiny little halogen globes and I really can't stand halogen globes. They seem to be used by default by a lot of manufacturers because they're probably cheap to manufacture but they run really hot, they use a fair bit of power. One thing they do have going for them is that they are very intense so they produce really good light but they don't last very long because they tend to run hot. So I have um, I found some LED globes that I can use to replace this one. Normally, I, um, you know, in the past, it's been quite hard to find LED globes in uh, unusual form factors because um, there are so many different shapes that light globes can come in. Normally, the LED versions only came in the really common ones, but now you can get them in all sorts of different shapes. So what I'm going to do is switch an LED globe in place of the halogen um, globe that was in here. So these globes are in a really annoying form factor. It's just got two pins on it. I've never actually seen an LED globe in this form factor before, so we'll see how it goes. Now one of the interesting things is that uh, we're going to find out whether this has a transformer or a switch mode power supply to step down the voltage. One thing that you have to uh, be aware of if you are converting regular globes to LEDs is that you can't always just take out the old globe plug in a new LED globe and have it work. The reason is that there are two different ways that the voltage can be stepped down. These little globes typically run at 12 volts and you can't just connect them up to the mains. So what happens is the traditional way of stepping down mains voltage to 12 volts is with a transformer. However transformers have a couple of problems. They are not very efficient so you lose a fair bit of power as heat they also tend to have an output voltage that drops as the power drain increases. So they might be rated at say 12 volts and if you connect them up with nothing loading them they might be outputting 15 or 16 or 18 volts and then you load them up, connect something to the output and it might only output 9 or 10 volts. So it can't really regulate its own output voltage very well. The other way of doing it is a thing called a switch mode uh, power supply or a switch mode voltage regulator. The way that works is that there is a little oscillator that turns the power on and off very very fast. It could be a hundred thousand times a second. Um, in some high frequency switch mode supplies it can be up to 10 million times a second the power is turned on and off. And what that does effectively is provide a reduced amount of power to the system or to whatever load. And they have a feedback system in them so that they can control their own rate of turning on and off the output to suit how much power is being pulled by the load. And that is where the problem comes in. If you have a switch mode power supply which is designed to work with a normal halogen globe which pulls lots of power and then you take that out and you plug in an LED globe that may not take very much power, it may not pull very much and the voltage regulator might decide there's nothing attached to me, there's nothing on the output and turn itself off. So what you might find is that if you've got halogen down lights for example you take them out and you put an LED globe in its place it's the same voltage, it's the same connection but what might happen is that it either doesn't turn on at all or it might turn on, off, on, off and that will happen as the switch mode regulator is trying to manage the power to the LED globe which is not pulling as much power as it's expecting so if you have that problem, you may have to change the, um, the power supply 
over to something that's suitable for your globe. So let's give this one a try. Right, so I've got the globe in. I'm just going to pull up the control on my phone and see if I can turn on, where am I? Outside. I want to turn on front steps. Yeah, it's working. Cool, okay, so this one seems to be working just fine. Now I've now got one halogen globe on the other side and I've got the LED on this side. So I'm gonna switch the other one out for the LED as well. And um, that way we'll get the same amount of illumination on both sides and it will look consistent. And also the LED globe should last a lot longer than those crappy halogen globes. No, don't do that. I'm not going to throw that away. That's better. They're both working now.